at this point in the worship service, the pastor comes usually down to the floor or at least to the front of the chancel and joins the people as they say, we now join together in confessing our faith in the words of one of the creeds, the Apostles' Creed, usually, and sometimes the Nicene Creed, a longer one. Creed is an interesting word. It's a very Christian word. It, it comes from the word credo, which is a Latin word meaning I believe. Credo, I believe. So a creed is a statement of beliefs. Now, the interesting thing about that is that when we say these beliefs, none of us means exactly the same thing. We are stating what we believe, but the words that we use never fully line up with what's in our hearts because they're just words. And words are very slippery things. Nonetheless, words are important because it's how we express ourselves. And the church down through the ages has had these confessions, these statements of what we believe, where we try to get it kind of figured out, kind of nailed down, but we never quite succeed. It's in the attempt to be one in saying what we believe that we stumble around and do our best. The really important part of these creeds, the most distinctive part, which you may or may not have noticed, is that they're triune. I believe in God the Father, is how they begin. I believe in God the Son, is how they continue. And I believe in God the Holy Spirit, is how they conclude. That includes all of the creeds, the well-known Apostles' Creed, almost all of us have memorized the much longer and less memorized one called the Nicene Creed and the very long one that we almost never use called the Athanasian Creed. They all have the same shape and they all proclaim, I believe in God the Father, I believe in God the Son, I believe in God the Holy Spirit. They are Trinitarian and that is the distinctive part of us as Christians. We believe in God as three and one. And you know what? We don't understand it because it is a mystery of God and we cannot grasp it with a finite mind. And we try to be one, to be unified in this, although clearly creeds have been a source of division as well, way back from the great schism where the words and the son, the word is filioqui, which means and the son, became the division point for the great schism. When the Eastern Church and the Western Church divided, the Eastern Church would not say and proceeds from the Father and the Son. They said the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit and is not dependent on those two. It was a big controversy. But the Western Church said, yes, Jesus proceeds from the Father and the Son proceed and, and the Spirit proceeds from the Father and the Son. And thus the church was split for the first time. <laughs> but certainly not the last, because it keeps fragmenting. And that's because of the slipperiness and complexity of words. So we continue in the vain effort to try to be one in a divided world. And we confess our faith together in the words of the creeds as best we can and misunderstand them and understand one another as best we can. Amen.